And here we go. Well, asking them, why aren't you What's speaking going on, about guys? Palestine? I wanted why to talk about this video really quick. With uh, Palestinians? The person you see you? on the screen, <clears throat> everybody knows. That's Yusuf, uh, Fusi Tube, Dose of Fusi, uh, someone who's really big on YouTube for many years. Uh, kind of went off the walls. I, he had some problems mental health or whatever it sucks man a lot of people go through that shit so I'm got no gripe with that I don't know if this is just for show <coughs> or if he's literally doing this but to support a proven terrorist organization because the country is ran is run sorry by a terrorist group Hamas and for American he calls himself a Palestinian but he's an American he's lived here almost all of his life I don't think he was born over there I think he was born here and that's another thing motherfuckers who are Americans but want to claim that they're, you know, Mexican or, <clears throat> you know, whatever, Irish, whatever. And that's the problem in this country these days. There's no fucking pride to go around because you got the media and leftist Democrats and socialists and shit <clears throat> telling you to be down on yourself because of who you are and what you look like. <clears throat> And that, that's crazy to me. The fact that people literally think that this country is bad or bad to live in is nuts. When you got countries that will kill you for sleeping out of wedlock. There's a video not too long ago of a woman being stoned to death. Because she wasn't met, she slept with a guy that she was supposed to marry, it was her fiance. And they slept together, and because they weren't married yet, <clears throat> they killed her. Or the fact that some of these countries don't let women drive, or do, or don't even let them show themselves. It's like a portion of our country, the people in our country are blind to this shit it's like they dr dr drink drunk the kool-aid and nothing else matters but their feelings of course you know all of us want to be able to live in a, a disney world where everything makes you feel good and all that good shit but it's just not the way that shit rolls man and people should be trying to pick people up whether they agree with what they're saying or not and I'm not going to apolog apologize or think a different way because of the color of my skin or because you tell me to. And that's the problem with Hollywood and celebrities. They think they have the right to tell you how you should live your life or what you should think or <clears throat> that they're better than you, which is basically what they're doing by trying to tell you what to do. Can you imagine that? A Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B trying to lecture us? It's crazy that nobody has tried to fight against this shit. And the problem that's going to end up happening is it's going to get so bad that people are just going to finally explode. And there goes our country. Literally. I mean, it's going to get really freaking bad. Even worse than it is now. And nobody wants that. But this guy right here. <clears throat> you just got to take him with a grain of salt. You can't really take much of what he says serious. But. Let's go ahead and listen to the rest of the video real quick. Using your voice. 
So me no, being curious, I asked that friend, well, why aren't you? Their response, well, I, I got to take the mic out real quick. Israeli Friends, I have too much to lose. Now that struck a chord near and dear to my heart because there's a backstory to that. Me trying to be an actor and wanting to make it into Hollywood, my biggest fear from day one was I'm Palestinian. Half of Hollywood is Jewish. Like, what if they don't want... This dude is... He sounds so stupid. These motherfuckers in Hollywood ain't caring about your... Fucking where you're from. As long as you're not white, they don't care. And they won't question you at all. This dude, I mean... It, he he's, sounds so stupid. It's... Past being funny. And just... Pathetic. I'm gonna stop it there, man. If you want to go and listen to this, you go ahead. I'll put the link in the description, but I just can't do it. It's you know, I used to be a pretty hardcore liberal Democrat. Uh, I voted in the first Obama presidency. Voted for uh, Democrats all the way back to early 2000s. 2001, I think, was the last time I voted. Or the first time I voted. But that's all changed now, man. There's just no way. I'm not going to vote for a party that hates me because of the color of my skin or what I look like. So it will never happen again. Never. But anyways, uh, this is kind of my reaction to this guy, and, uh, well, a lot of other people that do this shit, so, anyways, take care.